Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. Um, I was just thinking about how the time that we live in now, we're very lucky because it is possible to change things. Yes, it's going to take time and effort and, you know, it's not going to be done in in a generation's lifetime. It's going to be further generations. But I think now with like woke community and truthers and this kind of thing, a lot more people now are awake and hopefully they teach their children the same things in the next generation, especially because of platforms like YouTube and Facebook allow freedom of expression, th freedom of thought, you know, before people used to watch television. So only those people who were uh, of the elite, who, who knew those right people who could get onto the BBC or CNN or whoever, whichever channels, because you needed a certain background before you could get into those things. There's that old boys network and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that still exists to this day, uh, to some degree. But now with the power of YouTube and things like that, you know, most uh, young adults now are watching more YouTube than they're watching Netflix or BBC or mainstream uh, government or, or country television. So, Obviously, if they're all watching YouTube, obviously everyone has access to YouTube. Everyone can make a YouTube video. Everyone can get their voice and thoughts across. So that's why I feel that the time that we live in now is the best time to be able to express these thoughts and make these changes to, to um, make people aware of the system that we live within, of the, of the problems of the human suffering. And then it leads me on to that idea of that, especially with this film that I'm doing, This Isolated Humanity, that there's a lot of people... Um, you know, actors who want to act, but then they don't want to act when it comes to this. And I don't know why, because obviously, you know, a lot of these actors, it's difficult to get a part. It's, you know, with my isolated humanity, I'm allowing them free reign. As long as it's got to do something to do with human suffering, they can act their socks off. They can cry. They can shout. They can rage. They can do all the things that normally they wouldn't be able to do. They'd want to do in, in the production because they're usually given a script and they're usually given a character and they have to do this, they have to do that. And it's all up to the writer and the director. They're the ones deciding it. So the actor, you know, unless you very famous like say Anthony Hopkins or something you won't be able to influence and say oh I, I don't want to do that I want to do this um, so yeah I gave them a lot of free reign but there was a lot of them that didn't want to take part and and a lot of them said oh it's not for me and this that and the other and it makes me think that how are you not concerned about human suffering your fellow brothers and sisters you know you're, you're so okay with everything and i can't believe that that's true because a lot of people especially in this country will be watching these charity events you know red nose day or children need and be crying their eyes out when they see these sob stories about uh, uh, children dying of cancer and all these kinds and all the adverts that are on these days showing you know a water aid people suffering around the world and i can't believe that when they're given the opportunity by me through this isolated humanity that they don't want to take part in that they don't want to express their their feelings their their hurt at how some people don't have the chances some people have to live with suffering all the time i just don't get it and especially like in a, uh, even if you don't really care and you want to be an actor then this is a great field to be able to you know, I mean, personally, I would prefer people who actually do care to take part in it because I think that resonates through their acting because you see that through their passion. But nevertheless, I'm using actors because that's a way to convey. I'm using the same system. The system uses itself to, to try and get rid of the system, as it were. So I would have thought that these people would love to, to, to be able to cry, to be able to, you know, be angry, to be able to talk about you know even their own and i said like because a lot of people if you don't want to act even though they're on an acting website you can do it like in documentary style you can talk about your own life a lot of these people will have had uh, sufferings it's not just you know the major sufferings in the world like starvation and war and and famine and things like that there's also personal things like mental health uh, um, diabetes or medical conditions you're waiting for cures seeing loved ones die of cancer and you know uh, and still 100 years of charities around the world still not being able to find cures for these things whereas within covid within six months they've got vac uh, vaccines popping out of your ears you know, I don't believe these things can't be done. If if everyone worked together, if everyone had the goal, if money wasn't an object, if country and division wasn't an object. So I, I can't believe that people don't have um, a personal experiences of suffering or or, 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 or want or don't care. I don't, I don't understand that. Why don't people, how do they get to that stage where they just don't care about 
other people suffering around the world, little children starving, watching their parents being shot in, in wars that never end, unjustified wars based on bits of land that no one's ever going to take with, uh, with them. Everyone only lives to say 80 to 100 years if they're very, very lucky. In these places, they're lucky if they live 40 to 60 years. How fair is that? That there's places on this, the, the place that we call home for all of us how and especially those people who have some kind of religious or moral background or care about other human beings how is it fair that there's some people that that still have to suffer in this day and age the 21st century when humanity is so enlightened and then there's people out there that maybe because i'm talking to mostly western people that that don't care about those other people that are suffering and, and won't you know it, uh, it's a god-given gift uh, a lot of people say acting, you know, the, to, to be able to use that acting, to be able to use your own skill, not in just an entertainment thing, because entertainment isn't going to, you know, okay, so you get in Terminator or Jurassic Park, yeah, great, it's a great film, it wastes your time for an hour and a half, but it's not going to change the world. I'm giving the people a chance to do that, to be able to use their God-given skill of acting, but also to be able to influence so that people see it and then they feel, that, which is what acting, the best actors can do, they can make you feel but they don't care about it, so it just, it surprises me, and I know this is nothing new, because a lot of truthers, when they, you know, go on debates and on YouTube and on other people's channels to talk to other people, and other people come on, and they don't even care about truth, they don't even care about questioning things, it's like, uh, you know, why are you questioning things? I don't know, it's just so strange sometimes how humanity can be so close, so inept, um, to the suffering of other human beings that, at the end of the day, look just exactly like you, that are like you, could be you. And you have the opportunity to be able to, to, to at least stand up, at least stand up and do something and be part of something, so at least you can say, well, at least I tried, at least you did something, rather than just going back to doing some entertainment or drinking a cup of tea and watching TV. Anyway. That's my rent for the day. Take care, take it easy, God bless, peace.